am so happy that you clicked on this video because today we are going to be unboxing vintage toys and modern day toys and we're going to be doing a little bit of compare and contrast. So a few weeks ago I went online and I handpicked some different toys that I used to play with as a kid and I bought the vintage version of each toy and the modern day version. So I can't wait to see how similar or different they are. Spoiler alert though, they're a lot different. Before we get started though, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. Here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. What was your favorite childhood toy? And also as a bonus question, comment below who your favorite character was growing up. Mine was Strawberry Shortcake and I have her on my shirt right now, as you can see. I got this from Target and when I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking that I should find a shirt that kind of relates to this video that we're doing. So I thought it was perfect for today. But anyways, you guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this unboxing. Okay, I don't remember which box has the vintage toys and which box has the modern day toys so eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by its toe if he hollers let him go eeny meeny miny mo all right we're gonna start with this one i am so excited this is gonna be so much fun okay one last snip and we are in <gasps> okay it looks like i opened the box of the modern day toys so let's see which one should we start with I think we're gonna start with this. Basically, this right here is a toy phone. And let me just say, oh my gosh, toy phones when I was growing up looked completely different than this. It literally looks like a little iPhone. So we are going to be opening this up. And then like I mentioned in the beginning, I bought the vintage version of all the modern day toys and yeah, vice versa. So we'll be doing a little comparing in just a second here. Let's see, oh. Stop. Does it actually come with a charger? You've got to be joking right now. Oh my gosh, it has a memory card. Look, it's like an iPhone. Wait, it's turning on. This thing literally comes with an SD card. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, look. It's a touch screen. You can take pictures. Ah, there's me. This is going to be our first picture. Ready? Selfie. Oh my gosh. I love how it was like already ready to go as soon as you open it. This is so cool. What else is on here? Wait, no, I want to go back. Take me home. Oh, look, I just touched the home button and it got me there. You could do video music. Is there already music on here? Let's see. B -I -N -G -O. B -I -N -G -O. <laughs> okay, we're going to press pause. This is hilarious. What? I, I cannot get over this. Like, Oh my gosh, this is actually like an iPhone. This was like $30 off of Amazon, by the way. We're going to see what other glorious songs come on this phone. You guys ready? <laughs> okay, next. There's even volume control. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, I think there's only three songs. Oh my gosh, there's more. Look at this. Recorder. Video, music, calculator. There's a, a functioning calculator. Look, seven times six. Who knows it? Who knows it? Comment below. 42. There's a flashlight. Do not shoot directly at anyone's eyes. Is it working? Oh, there we go. I feel like I actually just bought a new iPhone. Good paint. What? Da -da 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 -da. So if you guys couldn't tell, I'm kind of flabbergasted by this. I was not expecting this to even turn on by itself without like batteries or being charged. As I mentioned before, it looks like it does come with a USB cable, which like what? I thought this was a kid's toy. This is amazing. And again, I got it off of Amazon for $30. So if you have like a little brother or sister or niece or nephew or any little person in your life who is obsessed with phones, um, buy this. But we're going to set that aside and now we are going to find the vintage version in this box which has all the vintage items. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be very different. It took a lot of digging to find these items. <gasps> oh my gosh, I see it! <laughs> It even has 90s print in the background. This is literally a time capsule. Look at the difference here. There's no comparison. So it says, try me, press buttons to hear, information, may I help you, operator, 
phone sounds, pager sounds. I'm actually not this old because I don't really know what a pager is. Like, sure, I've heard the term before. Do people even have home phones anymore? I don't think so. That's like a thing of the past, right? I remember with these, sometimes my mom would be on the phone and I would grab the second one that we had. And if you pressed a certain button, I could like hear the entire conversation. I would spy on her all the time. Not even gonna lie. Obviously this is gonna need batteries. Let's see if there's like a date anywhere on it that says when it was made. Oh my gosh, 1999. Yes, at the very bottom right here, it says that it was made in 1999, which was the year I was born. Oh my gosh, it's making me feel like an ancient dinosaur. Wow, what kind of batteries does this need? Oh, double A. I have double A batteries. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. We're gonna take a short intermission. All right guys, Dan the man helped me get some batteries in here and they work. At first we thought that maybe they were just too old to even work with new batteries, but we got it to work. This is so crazy. Okay, so we're gonna act like we're calling someone. May I help you? May I help you? Information. This is so cool. And then this is the pager. And apparently these would just kind of beep whenever there was a phone call coming. I don't know. I'm not too sure to be totally honest with you, but let's see what this thing does. So I guess you just like choose the tone and then it alerts you when a call is coming. I don't know, but like, gee whiz. I, I just cannot believe the difference. Like people didn't have cell phones back then. They had these things. I will say, that I prefer the new modern day technology versus this crap. This is just not it, you know? Like you can't take pictures on here. It's not multifunctional. You can't text, you can't do anything fancy schmancy. So I'm gonna say modern day all the way, but let's keep going. So next up, ah! so we have with us a modern day Care Bear. And this is the yellow one. She looked the happiest to me. So let me get her out of her plastic. Okay, so wow. I never realized how big these were. Is this like an extra large one? It's so big. It's so cute. So this is Fun Shine Bear. I do remember Care Bears looking a lot different when I was younger. I believe they came in boxes and also they were not this large. This also looks more animated in a way, like the eyes are really big. Now we are going to find the vintage Care Bear, you guys. This was actually the oldest Care Bear that I could find online and you will not believe the difference. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is my first time seeing it. Holy guacamole. Oh, oh my gosh. The difference. So let me sniff it. It literally smells like a vintage garage sale. Ew, wait, what is this? Oh, they had little hair like that? What? Oh, that's so ugly. Like I'm not trying to hate on this Care Bear, but what is that? Like, no thank you. So yes, they used to come in a box. This one, I mean, it's the real deal. It's like breaking. Oh my gosh, I love the little artwork on the side. Do you guys see that? That's so cool. And then look on the back, it tells you all the different ones you could collect. There's Wish Bear, Funshine Bear, which that's the one that I have. Love a lot bear, good luck bear, tender heart bear, cheer bear, birthday bear, grumpy bear, friend bear, and bedtime bear. That is so neat. I'm like fascinated with the little illustrations on the back. I'm gonna see if I could find a date on here anywhere. Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding me. This is from 1982. I wasn't even a fetus, I was dust. I did not exist yet, that is insane. I don't really wanna take her out of the box because you guys could already see what she looks like and Honestly, yeah, I, I don't want to take her out of the box. This is really, really neat. How cool would it be, you guys? Oh my gosh, I wish I had like an extra bedroom in my house because I think it'd be so cool to have a room of like vintage toys. I want you guys to comment below which Care Bear model you prefer, modern day or the vintage. Honestly, with this one, believe it or not, I didn't think I would say this, but I'm gonna go with modern day. Again, I will say, I think there's like three different variants. I could be wrong, but this is like the oldest. And then when I was growing up, they had another look um, and they were a lot more appealing. That was my favorite version. The Care Bears from the early 2000s. I'll insert a picture right here on the screen. 
Yeah, this is what the Care Bears looked like when I was growing up. That's my favorite variant. Now it is time to see what else we have. Oh, okay. Oh, this is one of the things that I have been really looking forward to opening. So this is a modern day kids makeup set. Wait, I think I'm just realizing something. Pretend makeup, pretend. Oh gosh, where are my scissors? I loved playing like makeup and dress up when I was growing up. So I do remember I had like a vanity with plastic lipstick. I remember that very well. Oh gosh. This would be so boring if it's not real. Oh my gosh, this really does look real. The carrying case is super cute, very good quality. It has like leopard print inside and a little mirror. So that's really fun. And now here is where the actual makeup is. Okay, so there's like a little spray bottle. Does this actually work? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could add like water or whatever you want to this. So this could be functional. You just have to fill it up. The brand is Beauty and Bliss. That's cute. All right, I'm pretty sure this is 100% fake. Let's see. Ah, yeah, this is not even real makeup. Boo. It's supposed to be mascara. Yep, fake mascara. But then again, that's why it's called kids makeup because, you know, kids don't wear makeup. But then at the same time, like, Claire's has kids makeup and it's functional. It's supposed to be the blush. Can you guys see that? No color payoff. It's completely fake. I guess this would be good, though, if you had, like, a one or a two-year-old or a three-year-old and you don't want them making a mess. Like, for example, I used to get into my mom's lipstick all the time. This is neat, though, because it winds up like real lipstick. I mean you would seriously think that this was real. I'm just fascinated by how realistic these things look. I think I would have absolutely loved this as a kid. I mean, I would have felt absolutely fabulous. I'm gonna need to find someone to give this to because I don't remember how much this was, but I think it was one of the more expensive modern day toys that I bought. Like, I think this was actually more than the little iPhone, so. Oh my gosh, it's like eyeshadow. This is neat. Honestly, if I had like a little girl, I would get this for her if I didn't feel like dealing with mess. I don't think there's anything wrong with like kids makeup from Claire's if the kid is like kindergarten or older, but this is actually pretty cool. This also came with some brushes. These are no different than like, you know, brushes that I would use. And then nail polish, of course, there's not actually gonna be anything in here, but it's neat how there's an actual brush and it seems very realistic. But how cool is this, you guys? I honestly think it's awesome. I don't think that they would have had anything this detailed back in the day, you know? Because if I didn't touch the eyeshadows, I would have definitely thought that they were real. So really cute, chic carrying case. Yeah, I think this is great. But now we are going to see what vintage play makeup looked like. Ooh. Okay, wait until you see. Oh my gosh, look at the model up there. You can tell, like look at her hair. She's on the back too. You can totally tell that this was from a while ago. I feel like I need to take a picture of this before I open it. It's like, I don't wanna ruin it. This is definitely like legit makeup. I can't even imagine what it smells like. I already know it's gonna smell like old crayon wax. You know what I mean? It says blush, eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, lipstick, and mascara. <gasps> I am so curious about the mascara. And I'm also gonna see if there's a date anywhere. Um, 1991! Oh my gosh, again, I was not even born yet. So it says, these quality cosmetics will help you look your best. Highlight, define, accents. Color Ups does it all. Simply brush on and go. Perfect for today's active young lady. <laughs> Perfect for today's active young lady. That just sounds so weird. But yes, and then it has a list of everything it comes with. Just look at this, guys, and it looks like the mascara might have a kind of exploded a little bit. I don't know if you guys could see that very well or not. Look, fold and lock carrying case. This is crazy. And then where's the date? The date's right there, 1991. But now we're gonna open this. I hate to do it, but I also want to see how this folds and locks. Wait, hold on. What? Okay, this is actually like freaking me out a little bit. I feel like I'm literally smelling air from 1991. I am not even kidding you. I mean, think about it. This is the first time that this product is touching the air of today. It's been sealed up ever since 1991. This is so neat. Okay, so I'm sorry, but look at this brush. 
what how do you get anything done with this like i actually think that the foam applicators are better than this this is like a witch's broom what in the world okay let's look at this mascara i'm dying to see what the applicator looks like so it just says mascara and i like how let's let's just do something right here i like how the modern day toy mascara actually has like that cool shape to it and it has a brand name instead of just like mascara you know i feel like obviously things back in the day were much more simple in some ways um but toys is definitely one of them so obviously this is gonna be completely dried out but let's let's see i could actually see the dried up stuff through the tube oh my gosh it's not even coming out it's like plastered it oh i broke it no i broke it even more oh gosh that was a bad idea yeah so the wand is literally just like shaking around in there it smells like old paint okay so i will never be able to get that wand out it broke into like three pieces because it's that old okay now oh this is neat so this is like a lip crayon and i already know it's gonna smell like a box of crayons yep i was completely right it smells like those oil pastel crayons um but it's neat because you can like switch the color i'm gonna try to put some on i hope i don't die is it working Oh my gosh, there is color payoff. Look. Is it just me or does that actually look kind of good? I like this. And then I think this is also lipstick. I don't know why they have blue. Oh wait, you know what this is? It's um cream eyeshadow. I would never use any of these shades as cream eyeshadow, but you know, you do you. And then these are the blushes with the mirror. It's real. Okay, and then this is the eyeshadow. I went through an eyeshadow phase when I was in like, I don't know, sixth and seventh grade. Me and my friend Jamie like collected it hardcore. She always had more than me and I was so jealous, but yeah, we would use the little foam applicators. And of course we would use the most obnoxious shades possible because back then it's like, you're just gonna go for the prettiest one. So if there's a hot pink in there, you best believe I'm just gonna rub it on my eyelids because that's my favorite color. Um, now you probably can't even tell that I'm wearing eyeshadow because well, yeah, now I know that like browns and creams actually look good, but you know, you don't know when you're a kid. So now we're going to see how it folds because on the front, it says fold and lock. So apparently that's a really cool feature with this. I don't want to break it. Hopefully I don't. What? It folds, but does it lock? Oh, it does lock. Okay, there you go. And it's like a plastic case. Look at the Harrison. Ah, this is so crazy, you guys. This actually, this looks so appealing. I actually want to put my own makeup in this case because it is such good quality, like for real, for real. This is tough. I don't know which side I prefer. Like, do I like the vintage version or the modern day version better? I will say that this would have made me feel cooler as a kid, even though it's fake. The items look very real. The carrying case is very chic and just, well, obviously modern. Um, however, this is cool because the products actually, you know, work. So, oh boy, I guess I would have to go with modern just because like I said, it looks super realistic and hopefully you guys are liking this video so far because if you do like it enough, I will certainly be doing a part two. We are not done yet. I'm just going to reach in. So the next thing we have is a Cabbage Patch Kids doll and it's a modern day one. So I found this off of Amazon. Is this like legit? Are they this small now? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to get her little hood down. It's not coming down. She's in a little duck costume and the only part of her that's plastic is her face and the rest is soft. I feel like when I had Cabbage Patch Kids dolls, the face was soft, the body was soft, everything was soft and I never preferred them. Like I had a huge baby doll collection and I always liked the plastic ones more because I could give them a bath, I could get them dirty and it would come right off. But with the soft ones, I just didn't prefer it personally. This is a modern day Cabbage Patch Kids doll. And I will say, I think that they do look a lot cuter. Let me show you the vintage version in case you don't know what they look like. This cost me a pretty penny off of eBay. Okay, let me just tell you right now. Whoa! <laughs> Talk about an antique! 
This is a big difference. Big, big, big difference. This box has seen better days. On the back it says, The Legend of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Many years ago, a young boy named Xavier happened upon an enchanted cabbage patch where he found very special little people who called themselves Cabbage Patch Kids. To help fulfill the Cabbage Patch Kids' dream of having families with whom to share their love, Xavier set about building a special place known as Babyland General, where the kids remain kids and so each is chosen for adoption. Won't you adopt a Cabbage Patch Kid and fill a little heart with love? And then they have pictures of some on the back. My name, birth certificate, and adoption papers are enclosed, plus a few words about my special personality traits. And then it tells you to fill up the adoption papers. Wait, okay, do you guys see that little envelope in there? Is that really what they looked like? What? Ew, it's dirty. There is no way that that's the OG. I am having a hard time believing this. Okay, so I guess, whoa! Oh, there she is. She just plopped out. She's definitely gonna have a scent. Oh my. Okay, I thought the makeup smelled vintage. This literally smells like a great, 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 great grandma's basement. This makes me feel some type of way. Like I can literally, visualize the house this came from again i got this off of somebody on ebay you guys are gonna think i'm so weird for just like sniffing dolls and other things but uh this is just oh my gosh no this is legit okay so some papers came out along with her but first let's look at her i remember when i was little i never liked their knees i thought they looked really weird because i don't know they have like these stitch marks and then the feet i just I was never a fan of Cabbage Patch Kids dolls, but I had them because my mom had them and she passed them down to me. Um, and I'm pretty sure that they did sell ones that looked just like this at Toys R Us. Oh my gosh, wait, she actually has a diaper. Wait, it's like an old fashioned diaper. And then also, I think one of the things that makes Cabbage Patch Kids dolls iconic and different from the rest is their hair. It's always made with yarn. So this is a little brunette baby and she has a little ribbon. Her outfit also is like a time capsule. It's like a sweater. And I specifically remember this little floral print. I had a lot of dolls with clothing that looked similar. Okay, I don't know what her name is, but I'm sure it's probably on here. Let's see if we can guess. I think her name is Nancy or Annabelle. Comment below, or Mary. Comment below your guesses. And no cheating, don't skip ahead. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So basically this is talking about how your Cabbage Patch Kids doll is either a righty or a lefty. And it said to pay attention to what hand the birth certificate is in and that'll tell you. I would have never thought to um, do that if I was making a toy. That's that's really clever. I don't remember which hand it was in. I think it might've been her left, but okay. Anyway, ew, do you guys see the brown on here? This looks like it's seen better days. Birth certificate and adoption papers. Why does this actually look so official though? I swear it does. This has definitely been opened before, but that's okay. So, oh my gosh, this looks so legit. Birthday, October 31st, 1955? What? My mom wasn't even born yet. This is like the year my grandma was born, you guys. Birthplace, Atlanta, Georgia. The name is on the front, I didn't realize. This certifies that Patience Abigail was born in the Cabbage Patch. Is her name actually Patience? Pronouncenames.com. Patience. Yeah, it is Patience, okay. I didn't know that people were named Patience back in the day. So I guess she would go by like Patty for short. Yeah, that's definitely a vintage name. Patience Abigail. Hi, Patience Abigail. Okay, like actually if I had a baby right now and it was a girl, I would name her Lucy or Violet. Those are such cute names. Guys, comment below what your favorite girl name is. I was always so obsessed with baby names. That was one of my favorite parts about having a collection of baby dolls was naming them, like picking a really pretty first name and middle name, but okay. Which one do I like better? So this is going to surprise you guys, but truthfully, if I had to choose a side, modern day or vintage for dolls, Cabbage Patch dolls, I would go with vintage and I'll tell you why. This one, sure, it might be cuter, but you can't take off its outfit at all. So that doesn't leave much room for imagination or creativity. It's pretty small. I don't like how the feet literally just look like ducks. It's kind of like, uh. And uh, with this one, it has a real diaper. You could do, you know, outfit changes. I don't really know if you could fix its hair. I wouldn't want to mess with this yarn because um, I feel like you might never get it back. But you could take its shoes off. And I also love how it comes with like, 
an official birth certificate and it just makes it seem more official like you know you're a mommy and when I was a kid I always liked things to seem super realistic so I prefer vintage anyways you guys we have one more thing to unbox well actually two one from each box you guys know the drill by now and the last category that I decided to shop for was arts and crafts because I loved doing arts and crafts when I was a kid so we have the modern day Crayola kit. I'm going to open this. I loved a fresh art kit. Nothing would make me more excited. This is the box that it comes in. This is cool. This is legit, man. You ready for the presentation? Da 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 da! Whoa! I'm very aware that I have like a sniffing disorder or something, but you guys look at this. Just, just look at this. It's so beautiful. I actually just want to like study this. Like the amount of colors and it's so cool and all the colored pencils are perfectly sharpened nothing's falling out whenever i hold it upright which is awesome because i feel like they were never this sturdy back in the day i'm so in love with this just for fun i'm going to pick out my top three favorite colors from this entire thing so let's see oh this is hard so my three favorite colors from this entire thing were robin's egg blue i didn't know that was still a color tickle me pink i remember that one from when i was a kid and then sky blue yeah those are my favorites but you guys i want you to pause this video and look at the crayons comment below your three favorite colors and you could be specific like shade specific this is just so awesome you guys um i feel like there's not much more to say about it but i'll be honest with you i am 24 years old and i want to start coloring right now you know what maybe what i'll do is for my next lip size lip balm collection that i release i will sketch out my idea that will be my excuse to use this or you know i could just draw for fun because guess what creativity coloring fun it has no age limit you get one life do what makes you happy okay so now oh i'm so excited for this we are going to be taking a look at the vintage crayola kits now this beauty is from let's see it's got to have a date somewhere oh my gosh 1982 again i wasn't even born yet i wasn't even born taylor swift wasn't even born yet because she was born in 1989 this is 1982 i am so excited and look at the difference like okay so as you can see with the one from 1982 there was like a little boy and also a little girl showing you just how much fun you can have with it they look like they're having a great old time and this one is just you know a paint splattered rainbow beautiful case it doesn't have any kids on it or anything um so that's interesting there's definitely a difference in you know what the kits come with so i'm going to really try to open this carefully i was so excited when i found this guys i think i actually paid like 40 dollars for this um and again it's because it's so old and there are a lot of people that collect vintage items so okay i can't wait to see the smell of this oh my gosh this is gonna be crazy wait was this used this is so cool this is literally a time capsule crayola art kit project book so oh that's neat it gives you ideas of things that you could create stamp printing patterning okay that's really cool ah i love the way this looks it's so, oh my gosh, when I was in like seventh grade, my teacher would always play these little videos by Schoolhouse Rock um, and it would help us learn grammar, adjectives, interjections, pronouns, you know, things like that. That's what this reminds me of. This is what cartoons would look like. They all had this certain look to them. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. All right, let's see, what is this? This is the texturing pad. I don't really understand what this is for. Oh, wait, I think you would put this under the paper and then you paint and then it gives the page that texture that you desire. That's what it is. Okay, so there are two random pieces of construction paper. I feel like this is definitely lightly used because someone definitely was using some watercolor paints and that happened. Oh my gosh, look at this. What? This is so, whoa, this is so neat. And uh, just as I suspected, uh, look, when you hold it upright, 
yeah, things fall out. Unlike the modern day one, I remember that actually as a kid, you know, like trying to clean up and put things away nicely. And then if you fold it the wrong way, it just goes everywhere. But these are the little mixing cups. And then, oh my gosh, the paints, you guys, look at this. They literally turned into like chalk. So those are no good. There's no reviving those. And then we have, of course, the watercolor paints. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. And then what are these? Oh, this is the clay. Oh my gosh, it is hard as a rock. There is, again, no reviving that. Crayon sharpener. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm sure this would still work just fine. It's a little crayon sharpener. Oh my gosh, Crayola crayons. Different brilliant colors is what it says. Okay, let's sniff. This like puts a certain feeling inside of my soul. It's like a rush of nostalgia. I can't even quite describe it. I wonder if these still color. I actually am gonna test it out. Oh my gosh. So, can you guys see that? It still works, but I feel like it wasn't super effortless. Like they were much more waxy and dry. It's also probably because they're a hundred years old. But now I'm going to try writing my name with one of the newer crayons and we're going to see if there's a difference. So let's find the color blue. And now we're gonna write my name again. Oh my gosh, what a difference. Yeah. Can you guys tell? Probably not, you probably can't tell on camera. And then in this case, we have Crayola colored chalk. Wow, that is so interesting. Let's see what this looks like. Look at that. Oh, this makes me so happy. And then lastly, woo, we have fluorescent crayons. And these are just like neons pretty much. So just look at the packaging, you guys. I feel so honored to own this. So anyways, I'm going to put this away. If I had to choose which art kit I like better, I'm gonna have to go with the modern day one. However, I do think that they put more thought into this one because they have like a little pamphlet on different things you could create. They put clay in here and paints and chalk. So they had more variety, but wow, this video was seriously so much fun to film. It was just, such a rush of like nostalgia. I think it's so fun to see how far the world has come. If you guys liked this video and you'd like to see me do a part two, then let's get this video to 10,000 likes and I will absolutely do that for you guys. And if you have any like certain theme that you would like me to go with next time, let me know. I could do stuffed animals only. I could do fidgets. I could do slime. Maybe, I don't know if that would work or not because like all the vintage slime is gonna be dried. Let's be honest, maybe that's not a good idea. There are a million and 10 possibilities. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. And if you see a comment that you agree with, make sure you like it so that I know what you guys want to see most. Um, also one last question, comment below which toy you found to be the most fascinating in this video. But anyways, that is all for today. I love you all to the moon and back, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.